Hi everyone, uh, this is Ifo. This topic I will talk about Delta AS POC SFC uh, basic introduction. SFC uh, is a sequence function chart, but normally we will call it a flow chart. And today we'll use the simple example to show you how to use the SFC. So as you can see here, we will use the output uh, based on the solenoid bar and then uh, for some uh, limits for the input. But because I don't really uh, connect to a uh, real POC, so I will use the internal uh, flag uh, M0 to M9 to control the sequence. Okay, then here you can see we have some fundamental of uh, SFC. So the most important element is a uh, step. So this is also the flow sequence. So as you can see here, with the double uh, square, this one is the first uh, step, and then with the single uh, square. So this one is the normal uh, step. Uh, for every uh, step, we have to assign the action. Or we can say the machine behavior or something else. Uh, this one is called action. So example, here we can use the qualifier with none uh, for ready, uh, delay for the move up, uh, move. Okay. And the last one would be uh, transition. So transition just like the uh, uh, condition. So when the condition is fulfilled, uh, it will go to next step. And next, we'll talk about the uh, uh, divergence and the uh, convergence. So here you can see for uh, simultaneous uh, divergence or convergence, you will, uh, with only one condition, then, okay, like here, uh, only one condition. But if we talk about the uh, divergence of uh, sequence selection or convergence, then you will see uh, there will be uh, two individual uh, conditions. So like this uh, simultaneous uh, divergence, so once uh, condition three is fulfilled, then uh, both uh, step three and step four action will be uh, performed. And then like this one, divergence of sequence selection. So like uh, condition one uh, is fulfilled, then just uh, go to uh, step one. Uh, and, but if uh, condition two is uh, fulfilled, then go to step two. Next will be the uh, simultaneous convergence. So here you can see, uh, only when these two uh, condition is fulfilled, then it will uh, pass to the next uh, uh, step. And for uh, convergence of uh, sequence selection, uh, no, either uh, condition A or condition 9 is fulfilled, then it will go to uh, step 9. So uh, example, maybe uh, the condition uh, 8 uh, fulfilled first, so it will go to uh, step 9, but for uh, step A still uh, under uh, processing. Then the following will be today's uh, example. So you can see here for the every uh, sequence, we just add down one uh, action. But actually, as I mentioned here, uh, one step you can add a maximum nine action. Okay, so you can see this will be the uh, step and then this will be the condition. And for the flow, uh, SFC uh, sequence function chart or flow chart is uh, well, uh, composed by uh, this kind of different uh, situation. Okay, then the finally will be jump. So jump just assign uh, when this process done, then you will go to a specific step. And in SPOC, we will use the uh, SFC run or uh, stop to control. So you can see here, uh, we just assign the SFC uh, POU name, then uh, assign the step. This one is for run control. And if we want to stop, just uh, stop a certain uh, POU. So now uh, let's move to the software part. So we have to create the to uh, POU here. So first we assign a, a program zero, then use a later, uh, because we will use the SFC control run and stop. And next we uh, create another POU for a sequence uh, function chart, SFC. 
Okay, and program one. So you can see a uh, sequence function chart would like this, and then we can uh, expand. So you will see the program, the POU, uh, if it is simple, that means uh, based on later, and this one is uh, for SFC. And then we'll come to uh, action and transaction. So uh, if you need uh, some action, then you have to create and modify the uh, action name over here. So example, here we use the initial. And okay, next will be the transition. So uh, transition is the condition between uh, each uh, step. So example, this one, we just put the name or start. And then we can go to the SF, uh, SFC and here we can insert some uh, step. So example, this one, we call it the uh, initial step and then here we can select the condition as a start and this one we define the second step oh, sorry step one and if you need a more transition and action then you can add on a more item here so example here we use the next Okay, so here we can select the next step. And eventually uh, we will go back to like a initial step. Okay, so this is the most simple of uh, SFC. Okay, so uh, if you want to add the action, then just click here and then uh, select uh, action setting. And here you can uh, just simply select the action you want. So the normal one will, the uh, qualifier will be none, okay? So uh, basically uh, usage like this, and now I will switch to another uh, program I already mentioned. So uh, for the, uh, today's example, I will use the simulator. So uh, remember, uh, we have to go to tools and select the simulator. And besides, uh, you have to go to the command uh, manager uh, to enable or start the simulator function. So after that, uh, I will switch online and download the program. Okay, so once uh, I download finish, uh, then we can uh, check the status of uh, SFC flowchart. So you will see at beginning you will be at here, uh, initial uh, stage. And then we can uh, enable, means uh, click the start. So we can go back here and uh, run the SFC. Okay, then we can go back and check. So you will see uh, once uh, the status uh, keep in uh, some status, uh, the uh, timer will, the value will keep increase the, the time. Okay, so next step, we have to click the condition. So uh, for the condition, as I mentioned earlier, here we all use the M0 or to M9. Okay, so we have to use the M0 until M7. Okay, so now we can click here to create a new uh, device monitor uh, table. And here we use the M0. So example here we set one on. So you can see we'll go to next step. 
and then if we uh, enable M1, so it will go to next step. And we have to enable M, uh, M2 and M3, so you will see now the condition fulfilled. So next, uh, you will go to the uh, limit, so that means we have to enable M4 and M5. So you will come here, and the next two condition will be M6 and M7. So if we enable M6, so you will see for here still keep in the uh, uh, right up until uh, we enable this condition. Okay, and maybe this one is too uh, fast for you to check. So uh, actually we can add on the uh, qualifier. So example, uh, we go to the action setting and then here we select a delay maybe uh, one second you also select a delay uh, one second Okay, so after we modify this one and then we uh, can download the program and test again. Okay, and then we can uh, switch online again. Okay, but you can see now he's a <coughs> Uh, back to default, so we enable the SFC and then enable the condition. Okay, so you will see it uh, will work like, uh, more slowly. And then if we want to stop the condition, then we just add M9 and then I'll trigger this one. So you will see all the, uh, because we already stopped the SFC function, so you can see all the step uh, will not show uh, green color. And if you want it back to normal, then we uh, should uh, op, uh, turn off uh, M9 and turn on M8. So you will see it like this. So basically, uh, SFC will be a, a programming language that will be uh, more easier for you to do some uh, troubleshooting, especially like uh, machine troubleshooting. And then here, I just want to show you some uh, basic about the uh, uh, programming, the I mean the action inside. Okay, so here you just uh, based on the language, uh, based on the language you prefer, and then you can also set on the condition like this. Okay, so uh, that's all for this topic. Uh, hope you can understand more about uh, SFC. Uh, thank you.